Uh, I need a new review for this week. What to do? I need something fun to play. Maybe I see has a price tag on it, so it is an obscure free-to-play game. <sighs> Might have signed up in the player. Do 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 what to review? Uh never was big on Bomberman. Man. Well, Donkey Kong Nah, it's been too long. Star Fox Oh yeah. Virtual Chess 64. Oh, hells yeah. Licensed by Nintendo? Hell, it has the original seal of quality. And Tennis, damn it, that's awesome. I oh, look at the opening, too. This game is gonna be badass. And the gameplay is solid as hell. It's like I'm really playing chess. Man, escapism at its finest, man. And my god, look at these really cool animations whenever you take over a piece. This is really badass. And Wow, this is actually really f actually you know what fuck this game. Uh, actually in a second now. Uh, what else do I huh. Pokemon Actually you know what? Let's game. Come on, how long could it take? One or two days to get some footage, another one or two to record me doing some silly things so I can get entertainment value out of editing, and I am done. This will be up in a week. How hard could it be? Why can't I stop playing Pokemon? Hello everybody, I'm Devil121 and this is another week and it's going to be another new segment, but why am I doing a new show? Well, I want to dig in some big ass games. My other show I want to promote, I want to say, these games are awesome and go play them and really get down to why some of these free to play games are amazing fun. And I want to do promotion for them because they fucking deserve it. But if I find one bad one, I don't want to rag on the developers, they don't have a lot of money and they any work they put into it, I really think I don't deserve the shit all over because then I get negative comments on my videos. You know what? I want to dig into some of these games. Some games that might be awesome or might be complete bollocks. I actually quite like this game. But I want to dig into those games. So that's what this review show is about. But what am I reviewing this week? We're gonna go look at some Pokemans! So, why am I taking a look at Pokemon Stadium? Well, quite frankly, it was because this is my childhood with Pokemon. I didn't get into the other games until far later, actually. So this is my original introduction to Pokemon for the consoles when I was younger. So, I wanted to take a look back, see if it's a pile of fucking dog shit, or my nostalgia holds up. I'm, uh, I'm hoping for the latter, hopefully. But, uh, you have to remember one thing, though. I was really hesitant going into this game. Why, you might ask? Uh, because it's been ages since I played this game, and quite frankly, my nostalgia goggles might cloud over everything, and it might just be a pile of crap. I might have hated this as a child, I can't remember. I was stupid as a child. I found this entertaining. I love you, you love me, we're a I really needed help as a child. But you know what? When I popped this game in, I was really hesitant and it really just went something like this. Okay, let's see. Pika! <laughs> That's kind of cute. Wow, there's all those things I learned from the cartoon. Really cool. No, no, Calvin. Gotta let nostalgia cloud my mind. Unless I can. It's so amazing. 
So yeah, nostalgia kind of blew my mind. And then I was completely hooked on this game. I went in blazing. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Let's go straight into battles. <gasps> I have all those starting Pokemon like Pikachu and Squirtle. Oh, oh my god, nostalgia. Oh yeah, fuck you. Yeah, Pikachu. Yeah, take down that electric Pokemon. Why? Because you can. What's this? Oh! Uh, okay, I'm. Uh, no, it's kinda, I'm. Uh, you know what? No, fuck it. I'm gonna survive. I will be the very best in all that jazz. Oh. Ice speed. Yeah, in the pit. Wow. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. I'm owning this little fucker. Oh, it's bolted. Oh fuck yeah, it's a fire Pokemon against Squirtle. This bitch is gonna get owned so hard that... What's that? Oh! Balls... Oh. Yeah, I kind of died really badly, but you know what? That was because I couldn't remember how things kind of worked. I knew that water bet fire, fire bet grass, but then it got kind of hazy at what actually hurt what. But after a while, you will get hooked on remembering how everything works. But let's head into gameplay, but let's first go to content of the gameplay. How much is there here to really hook you? A fuck ton! The trophy gallery is so cool. It will take note of all the Pokemons you use for battle that win tournaments. So you get to see which ones you use most. And if you want to get the completionist bonus, which is having every single trophy, which actually do look really cool, you will be there for months and months and months. But it's really cool. It takes note of which tournament they were in when they got this, and took take note of anything else. It's just a really awesome thing to have, I find. Another really cool aspect of this game was something I only learned because my cousin had the cable to do it. You could hook up a Game Boy to the console, which was awesome! It really saw the connectivity that Nintendo seemed to have. They did the exact same thing with Pokemon, I think, Red and Blue, where you could hook up the games. It's the only way to get some of the Pokemon. Really cool thing, I have to admit. A really well thought out tactic, and really just promoted BUYING MORE OF THEIR GAMES! Which was an amazing concept, I have to admit. The other aspect that this game have a little mini games. Now I remember wasting hours on this with some of my bros when we just had competitions and whatnot. And yeah, they were unique. Unique that my brother Mark would all own us all because he was better at everything because he was older than us. So let's get through this as quickly as humanly possible. All these games are tremendous fun. I spent hours of this as a child and once again wasted a good few hours as an adult. They're all very easily skill based, they're all easily done and there's only one or two that drove me to immense insanity. Two of them because of button mashing which I really 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 can't do. <laughs> And the other one is Clitter Fairy Says, and that drove me completely and utterly insane, because if the music doesn't do it, the length comboed with the music will drive you so insane you want to stab your eyes out. Overall though, if 
if I could get pissed drunk with a few people, this would be immense fun. Highly recommend it. So, those are the little pieces you can do, to, you know, flesh out the game. And it doesn't add much, but they are really cool things to have. But, what about the thing we all remember from the original cartoon? I.e. getting little helpless animals with a seen amount of powers to go kill each other. That's an abundance in this game. There's two different ways you can do this. One is the tournaments, two is the gym leaders, and three is the open stadium. Let's start off with the stadium first. The stadium is really fun for a lot of reasons. One, this is the best place you're going to get when it comes to practicing. This is so you can get a feel for the different Pokemon you want to bring into battle because in the tournaments you have to choose some so you might want to test out a few before you go heading on in blind firing wasting a fuck ton of time another fun aspect of this is power housing how good do you think you are with the pokemon how about you just do a tree against six god man you can get the computer to have a fuck ton or you could double up this is a really fun concept they can be two on two three on ones god the possibilities here are endless and they are obscenely fun. You can have different rules even apply depending on which one you want to train for. And there are loads of Pokemon here. But let me discuss that. There's a fuck ton of Pokemon! That's all I really need to say. This blew my mind as a child. This many Pokemon in one game fighting each other? It was so cool! No one was even cooler though? Being an adult and playing this game. I wasn't a fucking idiot. I knew what I was doing. I would always strategize and the strategies in this game made me feel so cool when I was able to beat down someone because I just taught it out and taught it what Pokemon I would choose. Now, what I normally choose would be variant depending on what situation. But how I would normally go would be things like this because it was a walking contradiction. It was a water type Pokemon who could use Thunder, which got me a few extra abilities I really loved. I also did this one because it reminded me of the alien from uh, Aliens. I did this because it reminded me of the face crabs from um, Metroid Prime. And this one because it reminded me of that guy from uh, Mortal Kombat. And yeah, okay, I only chose for the sole fact that they remind me of video game characters. Oh, I normally chose two of those and then went for uh, Scooter Bubble Sword Charm on a Pikachu. Or else my title card artist would be annoyed that uh, the Pokemon I specified for him to draw, he took hours to draw, I didn't use it all. Thank you, title card artist, you little fucked out. Oh, that's good, well that's great, you know, you got the FREE FUCKING TITLE CARD! Oh, silly Owen, of course you did them for free, because you removed all humanity from yourself when you became a title card artist, so shut the fuck up and get back to work. God damn it, you're not even paying me! GET BACK TO WORK, SLAVE! Uh, Alright. So, that's the free to play we had done. This was amazing fun. I spent hours on it, but let's move on to the tournament, which I wasted even more time on. So, the tournament is split up to four different sections, all consisting of different rules, it depending on what level the Pokemon was at, and depending on what they were at, they were had different abilities, different strengths i.e. amount of health points, and it was just a fuck ton of fun. I wasted so much time here as well because the Petite Cup is fucking hard. Another fun aspect of this was just trying out different Pokemon. This really made me choose different Pokemon and made me actually experience the game in different ways. If things were getting too difficult, I switched out some Pokemon and I really gotta try a butt ton of them and I gotta find out how everything worked to a lot of this tournament. Another cool aspect about the tournament that is not in the gym badges is the idea of continues. If you can completely and utter beat the shit out of your opponent and get a flawless victory, you get a continue. This becomes direly essential to come with some of the later ones when you accidentally don't choose the right Pokemon or something goes awry and you get your ass handed to you. Like you use your best Pokemon because they use an instant kill attack or whatever. This is still by far a really cool concept. It really makes you promote switching out and making so you don't push everything to the limits. And it rewards you for careful gameplay. The tournament in this game was a butt ton of fun and I cannot fault it in any way. This and just the normal stadium alone I think would have been worth the asking price of this game easily. But then you get on to one of the coolest things ever. The gym badges! So, 
This is what we all remember from this cartoon. Ash, catch him, wanting to get all the gym leader badges to beat everyone and become the ultimate, the best Pokemon trainer. And now you can do it too, and it's awesome. This was so much fun to do. The little things that I remember like Brock and Misty and all the other trainers that I remember from the cartoons, the different places, how every place had a specific theme, and how it was just immense fun fighting to the four people. One side note on this, if you're fighting through the four people, make sure you sit down for a nice little long ass time. You have to defeat all four, there's no continues. However, the game does have a really cool little save system. If you save and quit, you can get up, go away, come back, and as soon as you start the console again and go for the main menu, you get this little option to continue. It was a nice little thing I have to admit as a child, and quite frankly, it was cool now. <coughs> Fighting people here was a lot of fun, except one or two instances. I don't want to go too much into this, but from my battles, there was one from Brock that went like this. Come on, no, come, no, ah, okay, ah. A minor hit. Oh God, God. <sighs> uh, okay. There's a little bit. You fucking boss. Ugh. Bored. I'm so bored. So very, very bored. Ugh. It can't move. Gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna do that again. Yeah, go ahead. You don't like it. And you're dead. <sighs> Thank fucking God. Hopefully this never happens again. That's it. What will it be? Oh, for fuck's sake! With the quantity done, let's talk about gameplay. Game is very simple. At the start of a thing, you can choose three Pokemon normally. The first one you pick with the first one to come out, the other two will act as backup Pokemon. And then you get to strategize like a king! The game gives you a lot of leeway when it comes to this. Why? Because does everyone has weaknesses. Fire is weak to water, water is weak to electricity, and uh, grass is weak to fire. And then fuck are the other ones that I stumbled across by sheer accident. But I have to admit, if you learn all these off, which I sadly didn't and fucked me over a couple of times, it is amazing. The game really lets you think outside the box and everything feels smooth and well -thought. The commands are really simple in this game. It's usually hitting down one trigger, then hitting another, and then a spacebar. I'm assuming it's so that stuff like this could happen. Squirtle, you surf! Yeah! So, now with all that covered, uh, that's pretty much everything. So, what do I think of the game? Pretty awesome. Actually, really awesome. Actually, for fuck's sake, this game is epic. So, that was Pokemon Stadium. This gets a solid recommendation off me. This game is addictive as fuck. I don't know how it's sequel Pokemon Stadium 2 did, but if it's anything like this, it definitely warrants some sort of getting. If you have an N64, try and hunt down this game. If you can, I feel it's well worth buying. And that's all the time I have for this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, why don't you hit that like button. If you really liked the video, why don't you comment in the section below and like the button. And if you adore this with a burning passion of a thousand suns, well here's what you can do. Like it, comment, and then share. And if you're not subscribed, why don't you hit that up as well. When you do, I will love you forevermore. Unless you unsubscribe, then I'd be sad. Now, the last thing you can do is if you dislike this video, you know, that happens. Hit that dislike button and then comment in the section below about why you didn't like it. So I can improve and maybe entertain you, turn you around, you will love me, I will make sure that happens. What I plan for next time? Well, quite frankly, it's going to be another big ass title like this. And we're going to go for a juxtaposition when it comes to videos. So take out something hyper violent. And I want to go kill off some guards. So I want to kill off the God of War because I hate war. So we're going to go off kill Ares. So we're going to get God of War time off. Booyah!